Good afternoon everyone. This is Linda with Linda Zoo Plants for you. I'm bringing you a short video today of something that was really exciting for me and I thought I'd share it with my plant friends. Um, actually it was my friend Suzette's idea. She said, oh you gotta put that on YouTube. So I was trying to figure out a place to do that because my lighting in here is so bad. Um, and I normally have this plant hanging in a southern window, but if I try to film while it's in that window, I get a lot of backlighting. So I moved it over here in hopes that um, you'll be able to see it better. This is my double lipstick plant. Um, I think it's also known as curly lipstick. And I've had it for quite some time, and I haven't had any blooms on it. Um, there were a few on when I purchased it, but those since <clears throat> shriveled up eventually and died. I was just kind of looking at it every once in a while. You know, every day I pass by or I can see it from where I sit. And I thought, my goodness, what's going on? The ends of the leaves had like a pink hue to them. And I'm trying really hard to find that for you. Just be patient with me. <clears throat> I don't know. There, you can see it, right? Oh, yeah. Those are the leaves, folks. Turning pink. Just absolutely beautiful in my opinion I was so excited I got up to get a closer look at it and lo and behold on all of almost all of the ends of this plant are my flowers it's blooming like crazy and I apologize for that phone ringing in the background that is my landline that I have to keep open for um, emergency calls from my mom so I cannot turn it off and I get a lot of political calls throughout the day can't put those on the do not call list I guess so alright enough about that so anyway here are my Here's my plants. Aren't they gorgeous? I am so excited. Just look. And it's it's all the way around the plant. It's everywhere. In addition to all the color in the leaves. I've never seen this before. Now, I do want to mention two things. On most of my plants, I have gone to completely distilled water. Some of them, uh, my pothos, I still use my well water, um, and a few other hardy plants that I know can handle it. But for the most part, um, all of my plants that were struggling when I switched to distilled water from our well water, uh, they started doing much better so that's one thing the other thing is I've gone back to using worm castings a while ago I used to use them years ago and when I was talking to my friend we both were talking about how we used to use it years ago and then couldn't remember why we stopped using it and I think the reason we came up with was they stopped selling it couldn't find it anywhere and it's still kind of hard to find at places. You would think that, like, Lowe's and places that sell a lot of plants would carry it. But in my area, they don't. And so my husband found it at our Steins Garden Center. I do believe that Home Depot carries it, but I don't know if they carry it year-round. Um, but I do think that it's the worm castings that made a difference. I'm noticing a lot of 
uh, really good growth on all of my plants since I started using worm castings. And I just put a couple tablespoons in the top of the pot when I water it. Um, I've done it twice now in about a six week period. And um, Suzette from Suzette's Garden, she's got a video too. I'm sorry, a YouTube channel. And she's got tons of plants, gorgeous plants. And she uses, I think she told me about, about once a month she adds fresh worm castings um, to her plants and her plants are all healthy and gorgeous. You might see her fern that she's contemplating bringing in the house. It's a husky fern. It looks kind of like a Boston fern and she measured it the other day. It was five feet across. Can you imagine? So when I have a question I go to Suzette and she always has the right answers for me. Thank you, Suzette. All right. Well, they said it's, this is going to be short and it's going to be. I hope you all enjoyed looking at my exciting, exciting growth and color. Just. Time for me to hang her back in the window. All right. Hopefully, we'll see each other again soon. Thank you for coming. Bye now.